Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the unboxing and hands-on of the Alcatel Ideal Excite. This is going to be running on AT&T's prepaid network. Now, I did pick this up at my local Walmart for about $29. Opening up the packaging, as you can see, you got your different plans to choose from to the left, and some of the device specifications and the device to the right-hand side. So you are getting a wide-angle selfie camera, 5-inch display with Dragon Trail glass, 5-megapixel rear-facing camera, LED flash, 2 in the front. You also get 8 gigabytes of internal memory, which is expandable up to 128 gigs. And this is running Android 7.0 Nougat. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the packaging here and remove the Alcatel Ideal X Sight. And we'll go ahead and take a quick glance at the Alcatel Ideal X Sight. Now I am going to place this off to the side. I am going to come back to it. But I want to share with you what else comes in the packaging. So you do get plenty of reading material, as you can see there. Also included is a micro USB data cable, as well as your wall brick here. So your wall adapter. I doubt there's any type of quick charge or fast charge on this device. And you also get your removable 2050 milliamp hour battery. So that is nice. You know, it is replaceable. And let's get to the Alcatel Ideal Excite here. And removing it from the packaging, like I mentioned, you are getting a five inch display on this dragon trail glass you get a two megapixel front facing camera you're gonna have capacitive buttons uh, to the bottom of this and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just navigate a little bit around this device so if you take a look at the right hand side you'll see you do got your volume rockers there and what is nice you do have that textured power button and they seem to be placed uh, pretty good and moving to the bottom of the Alcatel Ideal Excite you do got your uh, micro USB charging port to the bottom there as well as a mic so I guess this is Alcatel's deal. They really like putting their charging ports to the far right corner of the device. I'm not entirely sure. I definitely prefer it in the center. And to the left hand side, there's absolutely nothing. Just very clean looking. And to the top, you'll see you do have a noise cancellation mic and a headphone jack. To the back of the Alcatel Ideal Excite, you are getting that 5 megapixel rear facing camera. You got LED flash right there. AT&T branding and then you know you got this nice kind of design a little bit of a texture to the back of it there Alcatel branding as well as a back firing speaker this back cover doesn't appear to be picking up fingerprints or oils off my skin which is good and as you can see the back cover is removable and removing that back cover is going to give you access to your pre-installed sim card as well as a slot there for a micro SD card for expandable storage again you can expand this up to 128 gigabytes Okay, so I got the battery here. I'm gonna go ahead and input it into the Alcatel Ideal Excite. Again, 2050 milliamp hour battery. Go ahead and snap the back cover uh, back on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and power this device on. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that uh, screen protector as well. And we're gonna speed through this because I wanna go through the setup and get straight to the device. So here we go. All right, so I'm pretty much back. We are in the lock screen here. That's exactly how it looks. And then you have these uh, quick toggles on the lock screen. So voice assistant, your dialer, quick access to uh, settings there, the camera as well as timer all from the lock screen. Again, capacitive buttons to the bottom there. They don't appear like they're backlit. And I doubt this has a uh, notification light, but I don't see anything blinking on this so far. And then just slide up to get into your home screen. So weather widget, Google search bar there. And um, so yeah, this is basically how it looks. You got some pre-installed apps there, Google folder. So you got Gmail, uh, Chrome, Maps, YouTube, Photos, just to name a few. Go ahead and open up the phone dialer now, just so I can share you know, with you as much information about this device. But there you go. That's how the uh, dialer looks. And we'll jump into the messaging application now. So if you're not familiar with my unboxings and hands-on videos, I pretty much go into a lot of detail in this unboxing and I'll show you the dialer, the messaging application, as you can see here, uh, app drawer settings, camera interface, even the emojis I'll show you on my unboxing video. So, um, so I'm just kind of used to just doing it this specific way. Uh, again, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. So exiting out of the messaging application, you got some pre-installed uh, AT&T DirecTV applications there. Long press on the home screen, gets you into wallpapers, widgets, and home edit. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, pre-installed wallpapers you have on the Alcatel Ideal X site. So um, this display, I can tell you right now, it's not gonna be a very uh, vibrant looking display. I am in, I am indoors and you know, the display is 
visible i can see it perfectly fine outdoors i'm not too sure how it's going to do um, into the app drawer you do get an option there for date and most used you can search for specific applications and these are basically all the pre-installed apps that comes on the Alcatel Ideal X site. So I haven't even connected this to Wi-Fi. So everything you're seeing here is exactly fresh out of the box. So you can even uh, search, you know, alphabetically for a specific application. Let's go ahead and exit out of the app drawer back to the home screen here and pulling down the status bar and go ahead and show you all the quick toggles that you get on this device. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, looks like airplane mode, uh, pretty standard stuff. You can also edit this if you'd like, rearrange the tiles here um, for your quick toggles on the status bar. And I think we'll go ahead and back up out of there and jump into settings now. And we'll navigate around here a little bit. So as you can see, you do get an option to uh, search for a specific app up on top right there. Then you get access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Let's jump into more. And as you can see there, this does have tethering and mobile hotspot. You get enhanced LTE services, so uh, HD voice. So, you know, call quality should be pretty good. I'll let you know in the full review. And you also get gestures, so turn over to mute, uh, turn over to activate, double tap the screen um, to wake. So I actually like that feature, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. I think that's a cool feature. And let's go ahead and scroll down into lock screen. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and show you your security features you have on this, because again, no fingerprint sensor. So what you have is you can swipe, pattern, pin, and then password. So those are your security features on this device. Let's go ahead and back up out of there and then we'll go ahead and jump into display. And as you can see right there, you do have adaptive brightness, which that's a great feature to have. Night mode, um, you can schedule the display to sleep. Uh, press the power button twice for, what is that, for the camera. All right, so you know, some pretty good stuff here within display. And then you get notification settings, sound, apps, uh, storage. Uh, storage might be an issue for some people here because as you, as you can see only eight gigabytes of internal storage and we've already used 4.74 out of the box so you're not getting a whole lot but again you do got access for a slot for a micro sd card for expandable storage so you can expand the storage if you need to which i'm sure you will have to and then going to about phone here as you can see this is running 7.0 nougat so you do got nougat on board you can also collect these little easter egg cats if you're interested in that um so and that's pretty much it for settings let's head on over to the camera application we're just going to spend a little bit of time here uh go ahead and check the shutter speed and you know it's it's not the fastest. I do see a little pause after taking a photo. I noticed this does have the HDR option. Not sure, too sure how that's going to work. I'll definitely have to let you know in the full review. Jumping into settings, you can see you do get an option for grid lines as well as low light enhancement. So definitely interested in checking that low light enhancement out. Uh, highest quality you can film in is 720p resolution. And this even has video stabilization. So EIS on board. So, you know, pretty interesting camera interface here. I'll definitely go into more detail. Uh, in the full review regarding the camera on this device but that's pretty much it guys that was the unboxing and hands-on of the Alcatel Ideal Excite again I picked this up at my local Walmart for about $29 um, I'm not too sure if this is going to be on sale for Black Friday hopefully it will hopefully be reduced down um, like the um, ZTE Maven 3 is only eight bucks on Black Friday but you know hopefully you guys did enjoy this if you did please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos this is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.